After a few delays, the ASI merge is now live. And the Fetch AI community, Singularity Net, and Oceans will actually come together in a single community, the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance community, under the same token, the ASI token. So, if you are by any chance an holder of the Fed token, of Ocean, or of Ajax, you will find everything you need to know about this merge in this video, how it will affect you, and also what you need to do to get this new token. Okay, support for these tokens will end on exchanges and as such, if you want to trade these tokens in the meanwhile, this video will be super important for you. So let's dive right in and understand more about this merge and what exactly do you need to do. Well, it's super important to note that as you can see here in this article, this merge will be a two-step merge. For the first step, we have Ajax and Ocean holders converting their tokens into the FAT token. And during this first stage, we'll also have the Ocean and Ajax tokens getting delisted from exchanges. So please be careful before sending your tokens to any decentralized exchanges. Besides the removal of the trading pairs of these tokens in these exchanges, there might be problems with exchange support for the tokens, so you might run into the risk of having issues by sending the tokens there. So right now with the merge ongoing, better be safe than sorry. As for the conversion itself, you can actually do it in the Singularity DAO website, as you can see here in this little conversion portal. You just need to connect your wallet into the Singularity DAO website and, and state the amount of Fed, uh, Ajax and Ocean you would like to trade. So basically you just choose Ocean or Ajax and trade it for Fed. And you have here a little video on how to use this platform. The Artificial Superintelligence Alliance Token Merge. How to migrate your Ocean and Singularity Net tokens on Merge Day. Head to the token migration page hosted by Singularity DAO. Be very wary of scams. This is the only official page to migrate your tokens. Connect your wallet. Select your existing partner token. Select max on token amount. Check the conversion rate and hit approve. Your wallet will prompt you to approve the on-chain token interaction. Check and approve. Once approved, you will be able to begin the phase one migration action. Check all details and conversion rate once more before selecting the button to migrate. Your wallet will appear asking you to confirm and approve the transaction. Wait for on-chain confirmation. Congratulations, you have now successfully migrated your partner tokens to the FET token, thus completing phase one of the token merge. Welcome to the Artificial Superintelligence Alliance. An important thing to note is if you have a hardware wallet, like a ledger, you will actually need to connect the ledger to your computer and ensure that ledger is linked to the MetaMask extension on your browser. From there, you just need to connect that MetaMask ledger wallet and follow the, the same process that you've seen in the previous video. I'll leave all the links in the description for you to be able to do this very easily and to follow the steps with calm uh, when, in your own time. And while you're down there, of course, please don't forget to, to leave me a like so that this video can reach more people, especially if this video is being useful or entertaining to you in any way. But if you're wondering what is the conversion ratio and how everything has been defined, it might be worth for you to check the video here at the top. In that video, we actually explain a lot about this merge and the voting that took place that approved this merge and made it come to reality, as well as the conversion ratios that were defined by the projects at the time and that were approved by the community in this voting, of course. Although the video is worth a watch, if you don't want to go through all that, you also have here the conversion ratios. And um, if you're just interested in checking what you'll actually be getting, and of course, as you can see here, the FAT holders don't need to do anything. Their conversion is a one-to-one -one conversion from FAT to ASI. While here, Ajax and Ocean holders do need to convert their tokens. And as you can see here, the conversion ratio for both these tokens is very similar and inferior to one, meaning that you'll actually get less ASI tokens than the tokens you currently hold, but the value um, in dollars should remain very similar, I would say. 
one thing that is also very important to note is that uh, the conversion will be done on the Ethereum network. And I know that there are sometimes uh, tokens that are on other networks, such as Cardano, or uh, for the example of AGX, or for example, Binance. So this means that basically the process for Ocean token holders uh, should be relatively easy. Their tokens are mostly on Ethereum. If not, you might need to convert it to the main chain, to bridge them again back to the original chain. For FAT holders, they don't need to do anything. And for AGX token holders on, on Ethereum, it's easy as well, but for AGX token holders on Cardano, you'll actually need to bridge your tokens using the Singularity Net bridge. You know, if you have AGX on Cardano, it's important to notice already and to warn you that after the completion of the first stage of the merge of the tokens, and once we move on to the second stage, you'll actually have solutions to exchange AGX tokens directly into the new SI token so it will actually be a platform a smart contract that will allow you to do that exchange directly on cardano without needing to do any bridging but meanwhile in case you really are in a hurry to sell your tokens uh, on a centralized exchange and to get money into your wallet or into your bank account you'll actually need to go through this process of bridging and conversion so that you are able to sell these tokens in a centralized exchange so you might be wondering what does the bridging process looks like. You have here the Singularity Net bridge. Once again, it will be in the description. And um, here you can see that you can define wh where it, does it come from and where it goes. And you basically have to make sure that it comes from Cardano and it goes to Ethereum, okay? And then you put the amount of AGX you want to, to do. You don't need to change the token. It's just AGX for the conversion. So you put this amount and you'll receive this amount. However, you do need to connect your wallets, and in this case, you'll, for, to use this bridge, you need to connect two wallets, right? You need to collect an Ethereum to uh, an Ethereum wallet that in this case is MetaMask to be able to send the tokens there, and you need to connect your Cardano wallet to a wallet where you have the AGX. Of course, another option is to use a DEX and to decide to trade AGX or Ocean. Uh, for some other token, but please do bear in mind that the conversion might lead to a decrease in liquidity pools and DEXs as some people might remove their AGIX liquidity to actually convert their new AGIX and as such you might get a worse price and a worse trading experience than usual so do bear that risk in mind and um, when phase one is complete we'll actually move on to phase two of the conversion process and as you can see here phase two will focus on community onboarding and on the merge of the fat tokens into asi and this will be done by prioritizing self-custody token holders and also assuring the deployment of asi in multiple chains namely chains where these tokens um, this, these three tokens that are merging into asi had already existed before there, of course, will be smart contracts in each blockchain to be able to convert any of the remaining AGX and OCEAN directly into ACI, ASI, while all the FED tokens will be automatically converted into ASI during the FED's mainnet upgrade. If you have um, any tokens that are not converted for some reason, maybe because they are on other chain, which I don't know how it works, how it will work the reality is that you can always bridge them and take care of the conversion afterwards it's important to note that there are still no concrete deadlines and timing for the end of the first phase and the start of the second phase um, the migrations of the tokens will be done using smart contracts and these smart contracts should be open for years so there is no hurries or worries you'll have time to do this uh, migration but of course if you want to sell tokens soon, you might need to do it earlier. Um, and at the end of the day, it's better to take care of it as soon as possible to do the, the conversion and to have peace of mind um, that that thing is done and you don't need to worry more about it. If you're a token holder with tokens already in a centralized exchange, either AGX or Ocean or FAT, and you're not in a rush to trade your tokens, you can just relax and do nothing okay this whole process will be automatically taken care of for you the exchange will do the conversion and you will have the new updated asi tokens once the merge is completed 
This is, of course, as long as nothing happens with the, the exchange, as you're always dependent on them. After all, as we know, and I hope you know as well, there are a bunch of risks of holding tokens in a centralized exchange. They are not really your tokens because you're not in control of them. The exchange is the one in control. And if something happens to the exchange, such as robbery or bankruption or any case of fraud, for example, you're actually in risk of losing your crypto. That is why it's always better to self-custody your crypto. It is the best way to hold crypto, the safest way to hold crypto, and you're not subjected to any third-party risks. You're totally in control. So if you don't have a self-custodial wallet, definitely think about it and consider it during all this process, okay? Just remember, please, to be very careful with scams and, there, and always go only to the official information, and the links that are um, in the official website and the official means of communication. Don't click in anything else. Um, and you'll, I'll leave the official links in the description for your safety so you can go there. But be very careful with that because you might lose your crypto in the process. The reality is that even though this merger and all these steps can be a little pain in the ass for us, the community members, the reality is that this merger is super exciting. It's great to see these three projects collaborating towards the goal of achieving artificial super intelligence and doing that in an ethical way, a way that is beneficial for humanity. And at the end of the day, they are combining their technology and their strengths, you know, Fetch AI bringing autonomous agent technology into the table, Ocean Protocol bringing their data exchange frameworks, and Singularity Net bringing their decentralized AI services. So definitely, you know, these are probably some of the biggest projects in the crypto AI niche, a niche that is super strong, super well positioned for this bull market. So, you know, that this kind of merge really strengthens the narrative behind the, these projects and can really, you know, bring a lot of interesting things for the future. So yeah, definitely this alliance might be very well positioned to make the most out of the bull market. And if you're interested in learning more about this crypto AI narrative, about other projects that can really benefit from this narrative, it might be worth for you to check in this video here where I show you some of the AI projects, crypto AI, that I think have the most potential for this bull run. So yeah, that's the best video for you to watch next. I'll see you there.